I think we've known for a while that not all asthma appears to be the same, um, but it's not until recently that we've actually had objective criteria for defining the groups. One of the areas where we found a lot of new information is around the Th2 cytokine pathway. Um, certainly in asthma we know that these, uh, these cytokines are actually upregulated, but only in a percentage of the population. Probably 50% or so of the asthma population has this upregulated pathway. And with that upregulated pathway we see an association with blood eosinophils, a cell type that is very common uh, in, in all people, but increased in, in patients with asthma. And we find that increases in these blood eosinophils measured very simply on a complete blood count actually track very well with the levels of these type 2 cytokines uh, in the airways, in the blood, etc. There was a very recent and very successful trial um, done at UPMC on dupilumab. Dupilumab is a, an antibody that actually blocks activation of these type 2 cytokine pathways, so it blocks the IL-4 receptor pathway. Patients actually had the drug or the placebo added to their current treatment, and their current treatment was high-dose combination therapy, long-acting beta agonist inhaled corticosteroids, and they had that combination of drug or placebo plus their background therapy for four weeks of treatment. And then at four weeks, their background medications were um, successfully withdrawn. We saw that there was a very marked reduction in protocol-defined exacerbations, or really probably loss of asthma control, uh, which was the primary endpoint. There was an 87% reduction in that loss of asthma control so that was the primary result. But in addition to that, there were improvements in lung function, there were improvements in symptoms, there were improvements in asthma control questionnaires, there were improvements in beta agonist use. And these occurred over the first four weeks of the trial when the patients actually were still on their background medication, so on top of their current medication, but then were sustained over withdrawal of their background medication. So the next study uh, is already ongoing with dupilumab. It is a 12-week study with a 12-week extension of that, uh, and it is a dose-ranging study. Future research studies are going to need to focus a little bit more on what is the right dosing, what is the right population of patients. We had a very select group of patients in this clinical trial. They had to have a certain threshold of blood eosinophils. But we don't know how low one could actually go and get similar results. I think physicians need to know that there is some hope for some of their more severe asthma patients out there. Uh, that there are drugs that are being targeted to a certain type of, of inflammation, which at least in preliminary studies seem to be very successful and very successful in, in improving asthma-related outcomes.